Hey guys, Gary Dean, DetailJuice.com. The last video you saw how we clean the undercarriage on a vehicle with the pressure washer broom uh, and the extension that I have there. But today I'm going to show you how after your undercarriage is already clean uh, and dry, now this is how I recommend that you coat the undercarriage with universal coating, which has just been revamped to last even longer. Uh, than ever before. It's always been a anti-corrosion type product, but it now has been basically pumped up to be even stronger. So uh, the March, March 1st, 2021 um, uh, release date for the rest of the 2021 products uh, will be the same for the new coating. But if you're a member of Gary Dean's Detail Juice Nation on Facebook, uh, I can get you that uh, product if you want to sell undercoating jobs or do it to your own vehicle, whether you uh, tow a boat around and you dip your car in salt water, uh, or if you're a northern state uh, person where you got to drive on roads that have all kinds of salt all over them, uh, this anti-corrosive universal coating product from the One System is all you need to get at least two years of durability out of a product to uh, keep the corrosion from happening basically slow it down if it's already there uh, and and get it stopped for you uh, or to prevent it from happening altogether on a new vehicle this is a great option to do so i'm going to show you how to do uh, the application right now all right first things first we got the porter cable porter cable six gallon air compressor okay I have the, I just have a 25 foot Flexzilla uh, quarter inch hose going from it now with quick disconnects. I do have an inline uh, filter to filter all the water that might be in the tank out. I then have a digital uh, pressure gauge. Uh, I have to adjust it. It actually is not really proper right now. I have to adjust it just slightly. Uh, but once you have your gun dialed in, uh, the rest is really simple. This uh, little hopper job is four ounces. I have filled it about three quarters of the way full with, with the uh, new universal coating. It is raining out here right now, but I'm about to get down underneath the van and show you guys how to coat the undercarriage of your vehicle. So I have the Harbor Freight Central Pneumatic uh, little HPLV spray gun. I think that job was about $15. Then that digital pressure uh, gauge, which I'm having an issue with it actually uh, showing me the right uh, numbers on it. And then the inline filter. You can get all this stuff on Amazon as well as the hose. For this video, I have the tank pressure set to 100. That's the right one there. On the left there, that is the uh, uh, just the compressor pressure. And uh, this one I'm gonna set to around 25 PSI. So if you got a dial, that's where you want that to be is about 25 PSI. Um, and you'll be able to spray, well, it just depends. You really have to do your own research on what it, how it flows and sprays uh, per your liking. But anywhere from 25 to 50 PSI is good. But this stuff only needs a, a very light coat. You don't have to soak it. It doesn't need to be dripping down when you're done. You just need all of the parts to be soaked in it. Um, to evenly, even coverage is really what I'm getting at. So. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, get this party started. All right, so this is my 2018 Chevy Express 3500 extended. And here's the rig here. And uh, I'm gonna show you just the flow on this tire real quick. That's how much I've got spraying out. And you can test on a tire, not gonna hurt a thing. There you go, I got my fan going. Product output is good. Yeah, even coverage, that's all we need. All right, get you something to lay down and basically just get underneath the vehicle. All right, 
So what I like to start on the outside, you can get your frame covered. I would recommend wearing a respirator, but you get under here and you just evenly coat everything, wire casings, the frame, everything. Um, in some cases, you're going to need to jack the vehicle up. Um, you want to get all underneath the, the undercarriage of the, uh, the body. Like I said, hoses, wire casing, uh, really cool if you could get the uh, suspension parts. See how they're all nice and coated? Now this stuff will dry and get tacky. Okay, got a little rain delay, unfortunately. So, when it comes to doing your undercarriage, you just want to make sure you get everything coated evenly and you get all the cracks and crevices done. So, just get under there and get it all done. Get everything coated nice and evenly. So you get the gist, right? So I'm going to go ahead and get this whole thing coated. You can see all these wire casings and all, look at this. You got to get all up in there. See how it looks now? Everything's all nice and coated. See that? All right, well. It's not complicated guys very easy so I'm gonna go ahead I'm gonna go ahead sorry I'm so close um, I'm gonna go ahead and get this done and then I'll bring you back at the end once uh, I can show you how it looks when it starts to dry okay guys I have done the whole undercarriage on my van here but I started out using the rig that I showed you at the beginning, but then I switched it up to what I prefer, which is actually a little bit easier because the cup on top of the small purple HPLV gun that I showed you, that I started with, the cup is four, four ounces. And unfortunately it takes more than four ounces. In fact, I did, I didn't measure precisely, but I do know that the 16 ounce bottle that I was pouring from was not full. I believe it had probably 10 ounces in it um, and I used all but about two ounces. So I estimate that I used a total of eight ounces on underneath of my van, which like I said, it's a uh, extended GMC or I'm sorry, uh, extended Chevy Express 3500. Uh, 2018 model um, so let's see how do I get under there and show you first of all I'll just show you this is the rig I ended up using which is the siphon feed spray gun from Harbor Freight um, let's say there's the item number right there so this is how I like to set up this gun so you notice the other gun had um, a inline filter and a pressure regulator uh, gauge underneath uh, right there where the quick disconnect is notice there's nothing here because uh, you want to be able to get in there in tight spaces so you want to put the filter on the compressor side gotta have that filter to make sure that none of the nasty rust water that the condensation that gets in the tank you don't want any of that coming through your line because after all we're trying to um, make it so that water and other contaminants can't get to the surfaces so we want to make sure there's no water in this oil based solution uh, so I got my trailer hitch all good and done and yes it's been raining uh, it is bone dry underneath the van I actually started the van before it started to rain but um, I've got, oh, I put the wood in there. Okay. So I sprayed this thing. I have also adjusted the, um, output pressure to be 
25 PSI, if you'll notice. Well, it's a little higher than that, but. Um, so that's what this looks like. As soon as you can get it to flow right. I'm actually cleaning the gun out now. I'm all done doing the uh, undercarriage application. This is actually universal clean and prep at one part product to seven parts water I'm using to clean this out. That's what I recommend that you do as well. After you shoot universal coating out of this, you wanna, you're gonna wanna put some uh, universal clean and prep in there. Make sure you clean out the, uh, the cup really well and then spray some of this through the gun to clean out the nozzle and all of that. Notice that it's a little clogged because I kind of let it sit there for a couple hours with the universal coating in it. So now I'm just trying to get it unclogged. So that's what the output looks like at 20, 25 PSI, how I've got the output set on the gun. So without further ado, I'm gonna set you down right here Turn that off because it's annoyingly loud. Um, this is the respirator. You need to buy one of these. You need to wear it whenever you're spraying something so you don't breathe it in. This is the other little rig that I was using. Nice little setup. This is really my Super 7 sprayer. That's what I like to use this for. Um, it's just more accurate, uh, different type of flow. But this is what I love for undercoatings. So, let me show you where we're at. When I do it, um, I get in there all inside the fender wells and all that. I get the suspension, because that seems to rust pretty fast. But if you'll notice, the rear end, dr the drive shaft, everything is, is glossy. Um, the exhaust i got all of it uh the heat shrouds the frame is all done uh underneath the van all of the uh underside of the cab is is uh all done i got all of my um bushings and connections done i got all of the like i said the exhaust um, we're looking at about a burn off uh, temp of around 600 degrees for this stuff, six, 700 degrees. So even the exhaust isn't going to burn it off. Uh, hoses are done. Whether they're metal or rubber, they're done. This stuff will penetrate rubber and plastic and it will protect it uh, and retain the elasticity for the uh, rubber thus making it last longer so all of that is done i even got underneath the engine uh, compartment down there i got all the bottom of the motor done the suspension the shocks everything is coated um i also did the, the back of the calipers i did um i tried to keep it away from the brakes so uh i just kind of misted it back there but Everything's done. Suspension, everything. And literally between the cleaning process and spraying this stuff, there's literally about an hour worth of work in there. Uh, if you've got to jack the car up, obviously. Finish this video laying down here. So if you've got to jack the car up, obviously, it's going to be a little bit of a, uh, more time consuming. It's going to take a little bit more time for you to get things done. But, um... The, the, the best way to do it would be uh, if you could take the wheels off, jack it up, spray everything in there, maybe put it on a lift. But if you don't have a lift and it's a truck or whatever, it is totally doable without jacking anything up. I was able to get underneath the van with no problem at all. I got literally everything coated with no problem. Uh, this van is actually lower than a Silverado or an F-150 would be. So uh, if you've got a lifted truck, that's even better. Uh, if you've got a side-by-side -side, like my dirty one here, I'll be detailing that and showing you what's up with that. Uh, that product, Universal Coating, is awesome for side-by-sides. So that's where we're at. And... Uh, 
it's all done. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, let that continue to dry. Let's just recap real quick before I let you go. First of all, the new universal coating, um, it's gonna go ahead and ship. So if you wanna buy that now, uh, I will, we'll go ahead and start shipping that because we reformulated it. We basically added more of the ceramic acrylics blend into it, made it stronger, uh, put a little bit more heart. Well, it's, it's more like, um, it's more like a flex agent than a hardener. Uh, it basically just keeps everything tacky instead of, um, drying it all up. So there's no actual hardener in it. You want it to stay kind of tacky because that's what's actually um, lubricating and keeping uh, the, cor the corrosive uh, elements out. Uh, so let's just quickly recap. You can absolutely use this gun if that's the only gun that you have. You can use this. No problem at all. That setup works awesome for Super 7. It works awesome for the undercoating jobs. You will find that this will be easier to use um, mainly because this is a vertical cup and it's suspended by the top so it's siphon feed um, you'll also notice that if you need it you get higher flow out of this as it's got a bigger nozzle uh, you'll also notice that's a 32 ounce cup instead of the other one has a four ounce cup so the reality is even though you only need between eight and 12 ounces to do a huge vehicle um, you're still i mean depending on how much you use you can over apply that works as long as everything is solidly coated. You don't need uh, drippage. You don't need um, to see it dripping off everything. You need to see it evenly coated everywhere. That's the most important thing with all my products. It's more important to get even coating than it is to put thickness down. So uh, with that said, that's the setup I prefer, but you have to have that filter on the line right there so that you don't get any condensation water coming out and in through the gun when you're shooting that oil-based product. Um, like I mentioned, you can get these respirators on Amazon. I highly recommend that. If you're spraying anything, use a respirator. Um, this is an eco-friendly pro product, but it's still a very, 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 very mild solvent. So you don't want to be breathing it in, even though it's pro... I, I mean... It's probably not going to hurt you, but you always want to err on the side of caution. Always use a respirator. I also recommend using rubber gloves if you don't want to come in contact with any of the uh, chemicals, and that's fine. Uh, but that's where we're at with just using the rigs there. So um, those are the rigs that I recommend. Uh, that uh, Porter Cable uh, compressor I got from Home Depot for 100 bucks. Great value. Works well. I also got that filter at Home Depot. That's a Husky brand. And then I buy my guns at Harbor Freight because they're inexpensive and they just work. If they didn't work, I would buy more expensive ones, but they do, so I use them. Um, spray it on evenly, just like I showed you. Everything is nice and even. You don't see drips underneath there, but everything was coated and it's protected now for when I dip the back of the van in the salt water. I'm not going to get corrosion under there. Um, it's going to stay looking nice and new because it's a 2018 and we don't want premature corrosion, period. Um, uh, the other thing you want to remember is you're gonna, the video before this showed you how to clean the undercarriage and basically you're using the um, pressure washer broom with an extension that I'll link uh, probably in this video and the other one uh, where you can clean it without having to get all up under there and um, let it dry. That's important too. Now this product will absolutely push water out of its way, but you don't want it to be soaking wet when you're spraying it. Uh, you wanna let it dry after you clean it so you can absolutely use the soap dispenser on the pressure washer through the extension and the um, pressure washer broom. Uh, you can use soap or what I recommend is either the off-road uh, prep, uh, clean, um, strip and prep concentrate snow foam, the green one, or you can use just universal clean and prep or IPC or whatever and spray it underneath, then use that uh, already use this thing right here see all the nozzles there use that thing right there to spray all the cleaner off and that kind of thing and then after it's all rinsed then you're going to let it dry i would 
if I had to guess how long in a northern state it would take for the undercarriage to dry, I'll give it a couple of hours. You can go back with that compressor with a little, show you this too, I have this little blower attachment. Uh, it's got a rubber tip on it. I use it on uh, vehicles all the time. It's not going to hurt anything. You're not going to get too close and worry about the, you know, this is pretty cool for residual water or whatever. If you're going to apply some Super 7 and you did a traditional wash, or even if you did a rinseless wash and you want to make sure there's no residual water dripping down to dilute the oil base that is Super 7 universal coating and that kind of thing. Um, the other thing you can use uh, that works just as well as the universal coating, it just doesn't last as long, is the off-road lineup uh, all-surface protectant. That works very well. Uh, it's a, basically a derivative of uh, universal coating. It is not nearly as strong, so you'll get about a year out of the um, all-surface protectant, which is here. Um, you can also buy just buy this. It comes with a sprayer and get under there and spray it if you want. Uh, you will absolutely use more product, but it'll still work very well. And you're looking at one year of durability for this. Uh, obviously, there are variables to everything. Uh, and then you're looking at two plus is the uh, realistic durability of uh, universal coating. Obviously, your experience may vary. Who knows? I'm not sure. All I do is testing here in Florida, and I listen to uh, the other people who test my products around the globe. And, you know, based on what I know, universal coating should give you two years of protection for your undercarriage, and the all-surface protectant should give you one year. So uh, check those out. There is a difference in price. Uh, and also universal coating does not come with a sprayer, but the uh, all, for, all surface protectant from the off-road lineup does. So make your selection. And the last piece to this puzzle is once everything's dry underneath there and you want to go ahead and get under there and start spraying, you're going to use less product using the compressor and the siphon feed or the HPLV purple little gun. You're going to use far less product doing it that way um, than you will spraying the all surface protectant with the trigger sprayer. But it is what it is. It just depends on what you have to work with and what you're willing to spend to get better end results, uh, essentially. And I, I just mean buying the compressor and all of that. Um, if you got a question about the compressor, or um, what you need to make it happen, just let me know. But as far as the wait time before you can get the undercarriage wet, I would give it at least two to four hours before you go getting the undercarriage wet. Um, if it's a perfectly sunny day, there's no ice or, or salt on the roads, you can go ahead and give the customer the car right back after about an hour but I would like to see a minimum of two hours before the car is driven away, but four to six hours if uh, it's raining outside. I would just let it dry, get tacky, that way no water or rain is gonna push it out of the way. So, all right guys, thank you so much for watching. This has been Gary Dean from DetailJuice.com. The brand new universal coating for 2021 is going to start shipping now. So if you order that product, it is going to be the newest formula that we just basically updated just because of this particular situation. Uh, I've got lots of interest in undercarriage spray. So we went ahead and we took what we already knew was fantastic and we already got great results with and we just basically amplified the good, goodness in that. So that's where we're at. If you got questions for me, send me a text. Call me, 813-846-4406 is my cell, or check out Gary Dean's Detail Juice Nation. It's a group on Facebook where we talk about only my products, my processes, what I've got going on, and we'll be talking a whole lot more about this. So thanks, guys, for listening to me babble. And if you got questions, reach out. If you don't, I can't help you. Have a great day, guys.